Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another video. Today, we got some fun stuff. We are back in the garage, or I guess at JJ's place. We got Turd, t uh, Tetanus, and Little Red. This is the first time they're, they've all been together, right? Yeah, I think so. That'd be like so a big, cool. happy family reunion. It is a big, happy family reunion. <laughs> right now, I am doing this, putting the new amplifier in. So I've taken out two uh, nuts, I've taken out two nuts already, unplugged wire, just gotta finesse my way around, get those wires unplugged, and then drop the amp, put a new one in, and yeah. We're also going to fix the left side wheel is squeaking, so we're just going to grease up those brakes. Easy stuff. Very easy stuff. After a little wiggling around, JJ got it. <laughs> so, here's the difference. Here's the stock one, here's the new one. It's kind of crazy. This one we're going to have to adapt a little bit to make it fit and work, but we always manage to make it work. Okay, what did we just find out, JJ? That this little black wire is the equivalent to your remote wire for your aftermarket stereos. I didn't know that back in the day, and this uh, this saved us a whole bunch of time. Because you so thought that, we'd have to run a switch to this? Yeah, a separate, little separate right remote wire. That's what I thought we were going to have to do, but no, the car already has a remote, which is that. So that's killer. Right? So really all we need, we're going to tuck this up underneath, but we just need to run a short section of wire from this to that. Good stuff. All right, your turn. You do that part. Okay. What are we doing, JJ? We are fixing some air conditioning. We, we, we. are fixing some air conditioning. We. So you take a disc. You got to pull back on that little collar. And that ride control thing might be in your way. You might have to pop that off. Got, got, got it. There you go. Right there. Let's get yeah. it. Sweet. Now like this. Yeah, and it'll hiss at you. You on? Hey, you're on. Okay, turn that little knob. So to uh, to unloosen, that opens it. Other way. This thing. Yeah. That way. Yes. So you can use the pliers if you need to. Get it. Yeah, you got it. Okay, because look, because now we have pressure on there, so that's good. All right, so we ran into a little, just a little, little obstacle. We gotta take this off to get to what the hose is, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so it's this bottom hose that we're looking at, which goes down there, which comes up here. What happened to my throttle body? Or my, my air intake throttle body's right there. My throttle body. Okay. Um, Where's said clamp? Um, this is the clamp right here, and the bolt is right in there. You gotta like push the wire harness out of the way. Okay. Ooh, not quiet. Not quiet. Not quiet. Here, do this. Come in up on this side. There okay. you go. There you go. You know, it'd suck if we there just dropped it. It would. Wait, 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 wait. Ooh. There you go. Got it. What a rip, Tater. Oh, too. same thing. <laughs> 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 what was that again? Alright, we found. Let me turn this dumb music off. Alright. Alright, we found our problem. This hose is clogged. So he's grabbing something to just flush that out, throw it back in, and then we'll need to go grab some Freon. Huh? Free? Free we got the cap off, but it took the fitting with it. 
Yeah, they glued the stinking cap onto the service port. Probably because it was leaking. That's fine. We'll, we'll fix it. I have more of these at home, but I don't want to drive all the way home. So we're going to get resourceful. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we tried to, f like, uh, we went to O'Reilly's and we picked up part. <laughs> but it didn't fit, so now we're just kind of out of options. We just got to... We got a line out convert. I don't want to throw that. But we got a line out converter so we can work on the stereo. So we're just going to do that. Here, let's show what it is with the, the air conditioning. All right. Okay. I threw the other pieces. Okay, are we on? Yes. So, this is our original high pressure port. I, I needed to plug into the high pressure port so we could ascertain the health of the air conditioning system. That's like a critical thing, right? Mm -hmm. And it'll also help in diagnosing. Anyway, this fitting is bad, leaking, and it was filled full of epoxy and stuff from the last guy. So we went and bought another fitting, which looks to be exact, but it is not. The, can you even tell? The thread sizes are different and the O-ring sizes are different, so this new one will not work. Whatever. Whatever, I'm so mad. Not really mad, but I'm mad. So this is the line-out converter. We're gonna connect it to the amp, which is right there, and it'll help us better fine-tune stuff. Yeah, right now it's like the factory, well, it's not even a factory stereo, but it's weird, we're getting a weird signal for the subwoofer, so this will help tone it down, so we should get some clean sound, I hope. And also help us fine-tune yes. everything up. I'm losing it today. Yeah, that'll be nice. Very nice. All right, after a run back to your house, we finally got the right parts, right? Like four hours worth. Who would have thought? You got the video of them, how they're so close. Yeah. Learn right? something new every day. Whatever. All right. Just sit and wait, let it fill. This one will come up. You'll see this one come up slowly. 